how to create a landing page into WordPress. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, let's see how we can do this. Welcome guys into this to Express. My name is Steven. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we can create a WordPress. I'm going to show you how to set this up and I'm going to be showing you a few website deploy section. We can try to have a few templates, a few tools totally for free and then you want to customize that, create our landing page and then test our landing page to see if this one is successfully done. So let's get started. The very first thing we wanted to do now that we are inside WordPress, I'm going to open a new tab. We can go for wordpress.com. You can do two things. You can create your account inside WordPress or you can look in into Pantheon.io. Now Pantheon.io is an amazing place to design, innovate and deploy websites totally for free. So this one works with WordPress as well. So if you download all you create an account and you create it inside inside Pantheon, you're not going to be accessible to have a few toes plugins that were not able for the free account into WordPress. So go into Pantheon, hit to get started, create your account. And once you are successfully done here, you're going to be seeing something like this. So what I want to do now is to locate the site version inside Pantheon. And here, as you can see, I have two websites that have been created. You want to go into create new site once you already have this one successfully added. And then what you want to do when you when your account has been successfully created, you want to go into the basic development site, which is actually in here. This one is going to be taking us into the dashboard inside WordPress. So now if I locate down here, it says plugins. As you can see, I can now be able to download and add a few plugins totally for free. For example, we have the classic editor and this one is compatible with your version of WordPress. This is exactly what we're actually looking for. We have a classic editor. So I want to go into the install now. And as you can see, there are a bunch of stuff that we can add to the for free. If you want to add creator landing page based on an actual plugin, I mean, you can try to look for that, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a little bit more easier to do this manually. So if I go into the landing page, for example, it's going to be appearing here, the landing page builder, uh, all in one CEO, light start and blah, blah, blah. So let's go and try to do this into the other way. So what I want to do now is to locate my actual pages, which is actually in here. And now what I want to do is to add a new page. So since this is a landing page, I'm just going to be doing this one page at a time. So I want to close my WordPress and just stick around with the one that we just uh, imported from Pantheon. All right, so as you can see, it says, welcome to the block editor. I'm gonna hit into next, 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 and get started. So it's, this is like the most classic version of the development section of WordPress. So we can start working here. I can go into the plus so we can add a few blocks. And if you scroll all the way down, you're gonna appear in here, your embeamed codes and your elements and all that. So, um, and of course, if you want to add your custom widget plugins that you have just downloaded, just make sure that when you download a plugin, you want to activate that plugin. For example, the one that we have just uh, added, that which is the classic editor, I want to hit into activate. So this one is going to be now activated and now I'm ready to uh, log into my actual plugin. So go into my actual settings. If you didn't see it in here, you might see it in your actual tools. Plugin file editor, feed file editor, available tools and all that. But in my case, I want to just go back into my pages, add new once again. And there we go. So here into add new, what we want to do is to start by creating uh, an HTML file or we can create an actual new template. I can go into all pages once again. Let's go and try to look for like a draft. Locate the one that says appearance. Here in appearance, I'm going to hit down into themes. You have the editor if you wanted to, but in my case, I want to stick around with the themes. And I have more than 5,000 templates that I can use totally for free. I have this installed versions, details in preview. We have this one, we have this one, we have this one. You want to select the one that fits for you the best. Since this is a landing page, what I want to do is to look for something that can be too easier to use uh, in the future. For example, we do have the Astra. I'm going to hit into details in preview. And as you can see, here are the ratings. Here's the preview, make a website, home service about review, why ask, the contact, here views, uh, all the elements, the services. I mean, all of this is like a template. If you wanted to use it, you just need to get into install. And our installation is going to be now created. So why do I want to do this format? Because if I hit now into the active, I am now going to be able to download and customize this actual theme totally for free. 
So let's go for customize now. And now this one is gonna be sending us into the editor of the actual WordPress. So it's really easy now to get started now that we have an actual template. So it says you're now customizing, this is my actual website. And as you can see, this is my actual desktop view. This is the iPad view, and this is my cell phone view. There we go. So it's gonna be now really, really easy to get started here. If I click where it says your idea matters, here, uh, let's say that I wanted to change the actual uh, template or the name of that. So I can click wherever I wanted to. You can see here's the header typography, which I think I can change that to this one. And this is how we can get started creating a landing page. Now, let's try to actually do this into the second way. So instead of going into publish, I just want to go into saved as a draft because we're going to be sharing this later. So I'm going to go into share uh, and save my draft. So I can hit now into my X mark and this one's going to be taking us back. Now let's go into the plugins once again. And here it says install plugins. Let's go for add new. Here into add new, I want to look in once again, look out for my keyword inspector, which is landing page. This one is going to be popping up the elements or website builder. Uh, we can choose the landing page builder. We can choose all in one CEO. You want to use the one that of course is totally for free and you don't want to get charged a lot. So since I want to use Elementor, hit into the install and I have the installation now been running. After that, once again, what I just need to do is to activate my Elementor site. And now you might be seeing that Elementor appears in the left part. If I locate the Elementor here, I can scroll a little bit down and choose for templates. So here I can go for landing pages. And here I want to create my first landing page. Let's go and hit into the X mark and go for add new landing page. And this one is going to be now taking me into the Elementor editor the main one, but we are still inside the actual WordPress. Now, as you can see, there are a few stuff that says Pro, Pro, and Pro. What you want to do is to look out for a free version. So for example, we have this one, or I can scroll all the way down, we have this one as well. So you want to look out for uh, a free version, for example, this one, and you hit into the insert. I am now inside the landing page into uh, Elementor. The process is exactly the same. All of the elements that you want to change appears in here, even you can change the actual fade in and the fade out. So it's a little bit more easier to use Elementor in my actual opinion. So I'm gonna just click where I do wanted to change the name or for example, this 25% off, let's go for uh, hey there, like that. So I, I can start to customize my actual website like it's really, really, really more tough and more easier to 20% this count. There we go with code shop. Now I'm going to click into this image, for example. And if I wanted to change this image, I want to go into the pencil, hit into the advanced tools. And you want to look out for the background, the image, which is actually this one. And I can go into the choose image, select my files. I'm going to go into my downloads just to show you an image here. Let's scroll a little bit down and try to look for, let's say this one, hit into open, and there you go. So if you want to insert from a URL, you, you can use whatever option you wanted to. I'm gonna hit into the insert media, and voila, now my media has been now imported into my actual website. So after that, just hit into published. In my case, I'm gonna once again save this as a draft, since I don't want to publish this uh, yet, but in your case, you can go into published. After that, you can now go in back into your actual site of WordPress and each time you want to enter WordPress with the actual same stuff, I can totally recommend you to go directly from the Pantheon, insert your account, go into the business development site or choose the site administrator. And this one is gonna be asking you to start from scratch, sign in using the same credentials that you just used into Pantheon and your account and your website is gonna be created pretty much everything that we have to do here into WordPress. So this is how guys we can do a landing page totally for free, really, really easy and totally for free. This Pantheon stuff this is totally optional if you want to have like more features totally for free. But if you want to stick around with a WordPress free version, it's totally up to you. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully this was very useful for you and I'll hopefully see you next time. See you soon, guys.